Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I am back with another astrological makeup look. And today I will be doing the Aquarius because Capricorn season is now over. I'm super excited to be doing Aquarius because all of my inspo picks were in fact like blues and pinks and a bit of purple in there so you know not like super fishy because apparently i thought that aquarius was the fish turns out pisces is the fish not aquarius aquarius is the water bearer i don't know what that means i honestly don't want to look it up i don't care enough to look it up so like you know that's fine but if you're an aquarius like let me know what the hell that means because i don't <laughs> But this is going to be super fun, just going to keep it super simple today, um, yeah. So without further ado, let's begin. Alrighty, so to begin this makeup look, I will be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Novena Volume Number. No. Two, which is in fact the blue one which is what we want and I will be starting off with the B5 color which is that one right there as a nice little uh, brow bone so that's gonna be super fun and hopefully super cute Okay, so I will be deepening up my crease with the C3 color, which is that nice middle, kind of a little bit on the dark side color. So we're just going to kind of chuck that in our crease, make it deeper, give it a little bit more definition. Alrighty, so now that I have done that, what I will be doing is I will be doing a cut crease. I'm gonna go like a nice shaping it out like that. That's kind of the vibe that I want to go. Make it nice and wavy because you know, water, ocean, you get the idea. Just keeping it on thing today. So I will be doing my cut crease and I shall be right back. Alrighty, so now that I've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be blending out some blue just underneath my eye line and I'm going to keep like a nice space right underneath my uh, brow bone and my crease. So I will be using my Huda Beauty Colour Block Obsession 
blue and green one. It goes with the vibe. And I will be blending it out with, I'm going to say this nice one in the little corner there. It's just like a nice kind of vibe. And I might go underneath as well just to kind of connect it and save time too. But we'll see. So that's super fun but what I'm going to do now is I will be blending in a really nice vibe with some metallics. Um, I'm thinking we go this nice little light blue in the half one there. If not, maybe that one up there. Just kind of like in the in a corner I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, so now I'm going to be blending underneath my eyeball. I know I did a little bit of blue on the outer corner, but I want to add some pink or like a purple underneath just to kind of give it like a nice pop of colour. So I'm thinking we go in with Novena volume number six and we go in with the, I think the C1 colour would be a nice kind of vibe. So we'll do that. Alrighty, so now it is time to do my liner and my lashes, so I do regular lashes, but for my liner, I don't think I'll be doing liner, instead I'm going to line this nice crease with either purple or white, I don't know which one I want to use, but we'll just kind of see, um, if I'm going to be using purple, I'll use my P. Louise double ended fall in line in the shade, can't read this for shit, Ugh. orchid in me. I can't read anything. Or if I use white, I'll be using my Made by Mitchell white graphing liner in the shade Milk. So, well, I'm gonna decide, but we shall see because that's gonna be super fun. And I shall be right back. Alrighty, so here's the deal. I ended up having to do white underneath the purple because otherwise the purple just wouldn't show up. So that's what I did, which is super fun and it actually looks really, really cute. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off this makeup look with some lipstick and I'm going to be going in with the shade 
me use with my Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick. It's a really old colour that I've got. I've had it for like a lot of years. <laughs> Well, there you guys go. That concludes my Aquarius makeup look. And honestly, I think it looks really cute. It's really simple. It just, it resonates really nicely because I've been keeping everything super simple and super chill lately. That just kind of goes with the vibe. And Aquarius just feels very chill, very vibey, just kind of, you know, goes with the flow. That's the kind of vibe that Aquarius kind of gives me. You say Aquarius and that's what I think of. You know, a little bit of water and just super chill, super with the flow. That's all it is. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. I have been keeping life really, really simple lately. Um, so far, so good. I... L-O-V-E, love it. So I'm very happy with how this one has in fact turned out. Obviously, um, I've got some new lashes on and it's starting to hurt my eye. I can feel it scratching my eyeball. I know that they are glued on properly. It's just it's very close to my eyeball. But other than that, I think it's really, really cute. I'm very happy with how this one turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below because I make new videos every Monday and Monday. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.